and welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to get started with key clock in a javascript application i am using react.js but you can use whatever you feel like and we will also validate the token using a backend so i'm using on backend i'm using node.js but again you can use whatever you feel like now to get started the first thing which you have to do is you will have to uh, make sure that a uh, docker is uh, running on your local setup and the easiest way to do is use uh, sorry key clock is running on your local setup and the easiest way to do is using docker so here you can see that i have already installed docker desktop so if you don't have it you can just install it once it is installed just open your terminal and run this particular command i have already ran it and here is my key clock server running it will download a bunch of dependencies for you you don't have to worry about it now here instead of 8080 i'm using port 4000 but if you want to use a port 8080 that's fine uh, once your key clock server is running uh, just go to localhost 8080 or localhost 4000 whatever you have used i am on localhost colon 4000 and it will redirect you to something like this here you can enter your credentials so i think by default it is admin admin okay and if i click on sign in here you can see you will see something like this now firstly you have to create one realm so click over here click create realm and here i'll just give it as my realm i'll click on create okay then uh, we'll have to create a client click create client and client id i will just give it as my client you can give whatever name you would li you like and here also i'll click on next i'll click on next and here you, you we have to give some uh, redirect uris so here you can see i have just give it http colon slash slash local host colon 5173 slash now you might be wondering where this 5173 come from so here is my react.js application running on localhost colon 5173 that's why i'm using that over here as well and i will use the same over here as well so you have to add this valid redirect URIs and here you can see if I go to 5173 if I try to refresh it nothing really happens so here as you can see I have just configured uh, 5173 right I haven't saved it I'll just quickly save it and if I try to refresh now here you can see you should see something like this now it is directly asking me to sign in but I don't have one user how can I directly sign in I need to register it right so here you see you can see that uh, once you go to like once you go to localhost colon 5173 that is the port number which my web application is running on uh, it automatically shows me this because it detects that okay this user has not re registered automatically redirect to this i will tell you how to do this i'm first showing you guys the output now uh, what i'll do is that i'll go to realm settings login and I will check this user registration checkbox. I also want forgot password. I also want remember me. Use email as username. Okay. Now I will go back. I will refresh this. Here you can see I am getting forgot password register as well. I yeah, will enter something. Okay. Uh, nobody at nobody.com Okay. And here I will enter some password. Uh, nobody okay let me check okay here also i will enter something nobody okay first name is nobody uh, okay last name is just last name enter whatever you feel like and i'll click on register okay not now and here you can see <coughs> it has redirected me to public route if i try to refresh it okay so anyways uh, let's me let me quickly show you also one more thing which i want to show you if i go to inspect all right one seven three just give me a second okay <clears throat> i know what the issue is all right so I'll tell you about the issue later on like uh, here I have successfully signed in right but I'm not getting the uh, user details so basically what I am doing is to get the user details you require the public key right so you can go to keys and here inside RS256 
I'll just minimize this. I'll just copy this public key. Okay, I'll copy it. I'll close. I'll go to my Node.js application. Okay, and I'll paste that particular key. Okay, I'll just remove this. This was my older key. I'll paste it. I'll do a Control S. I don't have a Node more installed, so I'll just rerun my application again. And now here you can see it is public right if i try to refresh okay error undefined course header access control okay let me just check why it is throwing me an error okay guys so the mistake which i did was inside web origins i have added an extra slash you don't require that extra slash just click on this particular save okay and here now if i try to refresh here in instead of as you can see this is uh, the user details which i get from uh, a key clock here i'm printing it to the console as well so here you can see these are all the user details nobody at the rate nobody.com was our email and here you can see i'm also display displaying this protected page previously it was just public so i'm just uh, toggling the text depending on whether you have successfully signed in in key clock or not so let's now look at the code so firstly uh, i'll show you the uh, node.js code so i have created one package.json file i have added express as well as json web token and i have do, i just did npm install so it will install this node module for us then go to index.js and if you see i'm requiring express json web token sorry i'm creating an app of express url encoded is false and using express.json uh, this is just for course handling because my uh, front end is located on different port then here i have created this middleware to extract token so here you can see whenever a user called our backend api uh, first this middleware gets called called extract token so firstly we are getting the request.headers.authorization i'm passing our auth header if it is not equal to undefined then i'm splitting that auth header uh, so that uh, the bearer part and the token part is removed and the token part would be present on index one because bearer would be present on index zero so i'm getting that index one so this would be our token and i'm just appending to a request and whatever is the next step that's get followed so it comes over here we get our token back then this is the rsa 256 key which i told you so this is the key but you have to append this particular thing as well like this is the format for an rsa 256 key and at the very end once the key ends you also have to add this particular thing as well so in case if you forgot just show it to you so just go to realm settings keys i'll just minimize this and here inside rsa 256 you can just copy the public key and paste it over here and over here then i'm using jwt decoding the token i am using the same rs256 logic and then i am sending the decoded token which contains the actual user data which i just shown you inside the console like the uh, i think it what it was uh, all this user data like the email all this stuff okay uh, now coming to our react.js code i am using wheat but if you want you can use next.js as well so first what i have done is that i have created this uh, use author.tsx hook now uh, this is a very silly hook um, i won't recommend this in a production app like use something called redux so what basically inside this hook i'm doing is that whenever this hook gets called i'm running use effect and here i have created one use ref uh, if the use ref uh, is true then return early if not then make it as true here we are creating our key clock so for that you will have to install uh, this library inside your client app first is key clock dash js so here you can use any framework you want and i have also included axios but you don't re you can use fetch as well so here you can see i have just installed this and here we are creating our key clock now our key clock server is my key clock server is on 4000 but in your case it can be on 8080 so if you are running it on 8080 use 8080 or next what is the name of the realm you have created i i named it as my realm so if you remember this is our realm in case if you forgot how to create a new realm you can just click on create new realm give whatever name you like okay i have already created it so won't create it again 
also what was the client name you created so here if you see inside my client the client name was my client in case if you forgot you can just go to clients click on create client create a client id client name i have kept it as same my client my client and just click on next but make sure you add that particular redirect uris which i have shown you so in case if you forgot make sure you add this valid redirect uri post logout redirect as well as this web origin and web origin won't have that forward slash then we are just doing client.init login required on load and here we get the response so i'm just uh, assigning it to this variable and then i'm uh, setting the token we, this token we will be sending it to our backend node.js api so this is how i'm sending back now inside our component here you can see i'm using my hook and inside use effect i'm just checking if auth is dot login is true and if we have this like we have this particular values then only call this call this function call call api and if you see call api here i am calling my backend uh, node.js code which is located on localhost column 3000 i am using post uh, method and here i am passing our auth token and if the response is successful you will get the data and here i am logging the data to the console and here you can see if auth dot is login then i display this protected div otherwise i display this public div so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye